Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. So, great start to the game last time. We've got the scene set as we're trying to defy the invaders with Jin. Uh, I'm getting rid of the face cam, I think, guys, for this series. Um, let me know if you have any feelings on that. I, I can't imagine anyone will be too bothered about that. Um, just because I think this is going to be quite a long game, so it'll just be a bit easier to record. And this game is just so gorgeous. I don't want to ruin it with my hideous face. <laughs> so, um, I've changed it from the better resolution mode to the better frame rate mode. See if that helps things look a little bit smoother. And I realise we can play the flute as well. So, oh, gin. The flute, please. There we go. I've been messing around with the photo mode, which is what I imagine I'll be using for <laughs> all of the thumbnails. Uh, we've got, uh, we've still got quite a lot to learn, I imagine. So we're going to go uh, to this marker here. We're going to go and see Yuna. So we need to swipe up. Where's the wind? Go. Oh man. Let's uh let's go a bit slower. Where are you trying to take me, wind? Yeah, I don't know if uh, how much of the stealth I want to engage in or how optional the gameplay you know, how uh, our approach to gameplay, I don't know how optional a lot of it's going to be. But... Uh oh. I'm not going to make a habit of constantly checking the map. Oh no, but this is her mission. Oh no, it's not. We need to go around to get to her. Perhaps I need to be a little bit careful. We're probably going to be invading this camp, right? Uh, I've changed the camera speed. That's you know. I've changed the camera speed to slow, just because I thought like the, the the one we were using was a little bit twitchy. So. Uh, but the cinematic one was way too slow. That's her, right? Jin, you found me. Hello, Yuna. She's helped this family out. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. The warrior's code. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet, but I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. Reach an overlook by the Mongol prison camp. Okay, we're headed in that direction. Let's get going, Yuna. It's just gonna, every time I'm just gonna say a name, it's just gonna make me think of Final Fantasy X, and I'm just gonna get emotional. <laughs> Taka can help you after we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. <laughs> That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it.
Okay, looks like there's a bit more pillaging going on here. Interesting that he's the only member of Jin's family that's left. Oh, hello. Resource. So there are going to be specific resources to collect. Okay, let's embrace our new shameful life and steal from people. I could have sworn I saw some resources in here. There we go, some leather. Okay, that was all that was in here, apparently. Um, I'm going to have to find a balance, obviously, but it, depending on how much grinding or kind of stuff that might get edited out of the episodes. I'll just have to see how it goes. We're still early on, obviously. Okay, we're still half a kilometre away. So, uh, this place seems abandoned, though, so we should be able to have a little look around. Yuna's out of breath for some reason from riding her horse. <laughs> You're riding well. Thanks. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? <laughs> I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse or a blade. And that's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. Oh. Pass through an opening. Okay. There's no other supplies. Isn't this good? Aren't we just going to jump out of the building by doing this? Maybe not. Hey. Can we jump on the horse? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here, you know. Quickly, noble. Oh, we can pick up flowers as well. Hey I wish there was a, a slight, a medium horse speed, but never mind. I think we're going up. Could be wrong. Maybe Yuna will prompt us to go a different direction. Pretty close. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. Okay, so up on these rocks up here. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. We need to reach Taka without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. Okay, interesting. Defenses in back are formidable. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. Okay. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order, 
and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor, and sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing, but we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it to save my family and what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Let's move. Okay, so we're going to need to implement stealth here for... This feels like the stealth tutorial, I, I suspect. Okay, so we're heading for that break in the wall. Can't I can't see. Taka, he's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole. But it was that or starve. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back. Very true. Any way we can. Okay, yeah, I couldn't I can't see any patrols or anything just yet. So they must be all inside the walls. And look at this place. Now, I haven't played the game for a few days just because I was uh, just dealing with all the fallout from The Last of Us Part 2 finishing. So, uh, I've had a look back over the controls, but if I make a mistake, then <laughs> that's what will happen. If I do have to choose between gameplay styles, like I said in the first episode, I'm really leaning towards just... Not necessarily the honourable way, but I just want to take everyone on in a sword fight and less with the stealth. But there'll be context for certain stealth where we're going to get everyone killed, you know, by going in recklessly. Twin swords? Looks like it. If they see us, they'll kill the prisoners. We better stay quiet and open their throats. Thank you. <laughs> I just cheekily take his supplies. Turn him back now, Jin. What do you think, Jin? The bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, Uncle. Keep after him. Okay, so we've got a pseudo stealth tutorial here. Uh, what well, I just, what well, I was just. Uh, in, that was interesting there. You know, sometimes when you do lots of stealth kills in games, I, I think it, like, kind of... They forget how desperate someone would be who's dying and how much noise they would make. And just like that Mongol there screams, right? Uh, which makes it more difficult to kill people I didn't in think stealth bears like lived that. Here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin. More bloods. 
Um, but, yeah, you don't. Uh, there's no um, brown bears in Japan, right? They only have. Do they only have black bears? I'd, I have no idea. You know, something I've never thought about. Keep an eye on these tracks. The bloods. Camera angle's interested here, makes us feel a bit stumbled right? here. Is it dying? No, but we're getting closer. Can't I don't know why I watched it, but I remember there was some, you know, tracker breaks down tracking scenes from films, and one thing he just said is, you, you can't do it fast, so I'll try and walk for <laughs> in honour of him. Oh. Yeah, one thing that this game will obviously have that I, that I didn't get from Sekiro was... Uh, Stay ready, Jin. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps. Yeah, the one thing it didn't have was armor customization. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to customizing Jin here. I think the last one. Careful, you could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Yeah, it's a black bear, isn't it? Look, Uncle, there's a gash in his side. Yeah. Not from an arrow. Oh. From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the stone in the back! Rosakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you! He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. Teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear, and take his life with honor. <laughs> when we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. I can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief. Focus hearing. Press the pad to use focus hearing, revealing nearby enemies' positions while slowing your movement.
I don't know if we're going to get spotted doing this. <laughs> they would have heard that man. Come on. Come on now. Okay, we should be able to get Captain Two Swords here. Judging by the distance that these enemies <laughs> are able to see things. Still got these two. The skeleton. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. Get back here. <laughs> well, Jin, unfortunately, we're outnumbered, so. We're going to need to. Utilize every advantage we can take. More supplies. Iron, nice. Squeeze under. Oh, those heads on that part. Oh, God. Obviously, release this guy, but don't know if that's it for enemies. Hello, their friend. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Died from his wounds. They must have beaten him. Don't know if we're going to get some sort of prompt that indicates we're. Uh... We're done with enemies? No, we're not. Let's get in the grass. Uh, we got a couple. There, a prisoner. Taka? Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. Should be everyone. Those are two sword guys had a mix of attacks, so and they could deflect our blows as well. So got some records. Conversations with the Khan. Hmm. What can a simple monk like me hope to accomplish by recording my conversations with Khotun Khan? My aim is to document his words and deeds in order to counter the natural suspicions of the people of Tsushima, foster mutual understanding and thereby prevent more bloodshed. Okay, so the Khan has been most receptive to these talks 
and surprisingly frank on a range of matters, though I'm a mere translator and Japanese to boot. His ambition is boundless as any shogun's, and he has a keen sense of history and his place in it. At the same time, he's eager to learn more about our culture and history. Such an intriguing man. So obviously the um, Koten, Koten Khan has, uh, understands that the samurai's honor holds them back a little bit. Artifacts and Arul. Arul is a... I don't know if I'm saying that right. Arul. I feel like I should be rolling the ass. Uh, is a staple of the Mongols' nomadic diet. Made of curds boiled in fresh milk, the resulting mixture is combined with sugar and fruits before being dried and sliced into various shapes and patterns. Okay. I don't think there's anybody left to fight. If there was, I think they would have come after us. Obviously, going through those um, uh, cloth entries creates noise. So, hello there, friends. How'd you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Maybe we'll have to deal with Let's a more the river. We'll be direct, safe there. direct confrontation on the way. Maybe a patrol. Are you with the straw hat, Ronin? I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other straw hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. Oh, it's uh, fireflies. <laughs> and we're picking flowers. Beautiful open world. It is Sekiro meets the Witcher. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. Oh, There's a fight going on over there, guys. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimov Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. A young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asimov Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Tucker, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Tucker will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. Oh. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. But going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Shimura, you deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. Jin. My men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. 
Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. As will I. You love him. Just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. Various code. Oh, hello. Technique point. Here we go. You've earned a technique point. Use it to learn powerful new techniques that will aid your fight against the Mongols. Now, I really like, I was kind of on the fence about whether to have this in English or or Japanese, but like the, the voice actors are doing a really good job. Like even the the difference in, in accents that we heard there between like the Japanese and the Mongolian is there is still a slight difference so they're, they're doing a good job with the accents even talking in english in, in my opinion at least you can tell the difference use it to learn powerful techniques that will aid you okay so evasion or deflection parry at the last possible second to perform a deadly counter attack earns a moderate amount of resolve I, that's me all over Roll across the ground to avoid attacks. Okay, that's that's this is uh, very similar to God of War, isn't it? Where there was a, a small dodge and then a, a double button press to roll. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely up for deflection. Um, but the quicker we can kill these guys, the better. Just have to time it as late as possible. Let's do it. Mythic. So we need to complete tales to get this. We need technique points for the exploration stuff. Follow the guiding wing to hot springs. Interesting. Wet artifacts to learn more about the Mongols. Resources you collect are stored in your satchel. Okay, so oh, there's not an over. At least from the look of it, there's not an overwhelming <laughs> amount of resources it's not like the witcher here where we've got a kind of really over the top amount of crafting resources flowers are just flowers they're not like all their own types which i think is probably better to be honest okay where are we going to go next we had another this mission here right Tale of Sensei Ishikawa. Wait, is it, are there two islands? Oh, to, uh, Zahara and Toyotama. Okay. Okay, so we can clear out these like camps. We're gonna get the bow from there, so. I thought that there were people fighting in the background and it was just the uh, <laughs> the white grass dancing in the wind. <laughs> oh man, I'm so stupid. Right. Let's follow the wind. Hey, Fox! Hey there, Fox. Hey there. Hey there, Fox. <laughs> You're amazing. Where did he go? Hey, Fox, come back. Hang on, Fox. We're following this, Fox. Show me the way, Fox. 
Where are you taking me? This this must be leading us somewhere. Don't go in a circle now. He must be leading us somewhere, man. Yes, Fox. You are the best. In our shine honored, you unlocked a new charm slot. Amazing. Uh, we don't have any charms, so. Explore Sushima to find various activities that will enhance your abilities. In Ari shines, shrines as well. Oh, stances. What? We need technique points for this as well. And we've got a ghost tree. Okay, so, oh, oh, this gets deeper, guys. Yes, yes. So, effective against swordmen is the stone stance that we already have. Heavy attacks deal extra stagger damage. Right, right. Water stance, effective against shield men. Wind stance, effective against spear men. And moon stance, effective against brutes. Man, this taps into so many like, things in, in so many other games, right? You know, because uh, I haven't played it. I do want to play it at some point, but I know Neo had different stances didn't it have three different stances? So that must be based on actual, like, samurai uh, shinobi fighting techniques. Fascinating. Fascinating. We've got a lot to learn, guys. I really didn't think we were going to make that jump. That pesky fox. Where is he? Where's the fox gone? Can we climb out of it? Oh! So Fox, you are the best, mate. <laughs> oh, yes. So much joy. Oh. Beautiful, man. Right, uh... right, off we go. Good Nobu. Off we go, Nobu. Let's follow the wind. I think we can cross this water. It's not too deep, right? It seems very shallow. Not like Death Stranding water, where it looks like a puddle and then you just sink and <laughs> crash your motorbike. <laughs> I wish there was a slight, a middle speed. I don't necessarily want to run this fast. Oh, that fox was amazing. Such simple things, you know? Uh, how far away are we? Okay, we're, uh, we're quite far away. Yeah, I'm not gonna record myself necessarily pillaging for supplies at all points. Oh god, sorry, Nobu. So Nobu's got like a, a, a blue, uh, like a, a royal blue and white color scheme on the go, right? Maybe we can get our armor to match. That'd be lovely. Is this a camp? Yeah, there's lots of dead bodies outside, right? This is probably Mongol territory right here. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got an undiscovered location. We've got a camp here. Yeah, let's check these out, guys. Let's check them out. Fox dens do get marked as well. That was the Traveler's Rest Inn. I think we can climb up here, right? I didn't even know climbing was much of a thing here. That blood stains, though. You stay here, dear Nobu. I'm going to go take care of business. I don't know if this game's like level gated. I can't imagine it is given the style of combat, but... Huh. Feels a bit empty. Feels like this place was set up for like a stealth incursion, right? Hmm. I do find this a little strange that we go first person for these bits. Oh, nearly missed some. Maybe a mission's going to take place here and I'm here a bit too early. What the hell is this? A honey farm or something. Doesn't look like there's anything here, guys. Maybe it's down there where we need to go. Wish we had uh, just a way of zooming in or something. It's the one thing that I wish every game had, like in that all the Souls games have, is is just binoculars. Just the in a in an open world like this, we just you, you really need the ability to zoom in a bit, just so you can have a look around. I feel. Could probably zoom in pretty well with the photo mode. Let's uh, let's have a look over here. A beautiful view, at the very least. Yeah, we got Mongols here, but we're uh, we're straying pretty far from our mission. Should probably go to this one first and then head to our mission. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, Nobu. Let's go. <laughs> Feels like that's where we just were, but... I think it's on the other side of the road, isn't it? Survivor camp. Oh, there's Japanese here. So craftsmen and stuff. You know who the Mongols really are, right? They conquered the kings of China and Goryu. No, they're Oni. Oh, nonsense. Think about it. They came from the sea. So do traders and pirates. What traders or pirates could wipe out the samurai? With strange fire weapons. Huh? They're Oni. Oni. Hmm, what's Oni? Maybe some kind of like reckoning or something? We've got a craftsman here. Anything to offer from your hunting? If you have hides to spare, I can offer you something in return. Ah. Well, we've got nothing to put ammo in right now. Um. Wait. Oh, I need. To, I buy the leather and stuff from him. Okay, with my supplies. Um. 
Okay, we don't really Goodbye. know what we need to craft for just yet, so we won't uh, waste anything there. Come back if you need anything, my lord. Hello there, friend. You need anything, my lord. What have you Lord's got? Sucker. Oh. You've survived the invasion? So far. Have we met before? Uh, no, my lord. But I watched you ride into battle. Please accept this gift. If you wear it, they say a spirit will lead you to whatever you're looking for. Sounds like something you could use yourself. Not with Mongols prowling the countryside. But if it leads you to any flowers, bring them to me. Or other traders. We can use them to fashion dyes. I'll remember that. Oh, nice. Thank you. We'll be able to colour our equipment. Traveller's attire. Perfect for those with a long journey ahead. Oh. If you can bring more, it's yours. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at these, man. <laughs> so are these, is, is the, are these just cosmetics? Like, it's not going to, well, our sword is the same. I feel like our sword's going to stay the same. Like, it's not going to, we don't have stats on the sword, I don't think. This is purely cosmetic. So we've got three flowers at the minute. Armor dies. Fiery searcher. Adventurous fortune. Lovely. So we've got to discover a bunch of different armor types. That looks rather fancy. Hats. Hey. Oh, bandanas. Headband. If you can bring more, it's yours. Awesome. You can now track new locations with the guiding wind. Can I? Oh, is it just some more points of interest, perhaps? Oh, we've got some new armor on then. We've got a cape. Always happy to help, <gasps> my lord. I love capes. <laughs> The cape, guys. Cloth Would physics. Would you like to see what I have? Uh, maybe with a couple of side quests here. May come you protect your path, my lord. My mother believed Inari is my guardian. She saw a fox chasing fireflies outside our home the day I was born. She knew that foxes are Inari's messengers in our world. When you see one, always follow where it leads. I will. Thank you. Okay, so we've already done that by accident. Um, thank you, though. The message. So, um... I don't... These don't have, um... Well, they do, they've got buffs, but they don't have, like, an, an armor, armor stat or something. Damage beyond repair, right? So... We can track artifacts with the guiding wind. Traveling clears 10% more fog of war on the map, and controller will vibrate when within 30 meters of an art artifact. And we can upgrade. So upgrading it just will buff those two. Um, oh, and it uh, changes the way it looks. So the next level is going to look like this. Still got a bit of chest on uh, on display there for Jin. The next level, yeah, we cover that up. <laughs> Get some gauntlets. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's go talk to the this fella. Hello, there, friend. Another samurai alive? I thought Lord Jin Roku was the only one. I don't know the name. He's in Kashinim, my lord. I'm sure he would be happy to see you. I'm curious to meet him. Lord Kashin. No, uh, he's in Kashin. Okay, the other side of honor. Someone mentioned seeing a samurai alive in Kashin. If another samurai made it out of Komodo Beach, I need to find out who it is. I'm gonna get stealth charms from linen. All right, I think that's everything we've got here in this little survivor camp. Hopefully these guys don't get discovered. 
We've got a cape, guys. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. You've got to love cloth physics in games. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if you have to be from a certain generation where this stuff just always impresses you. I don't know if you... If you if you if you're a lot younger and you've maybe seen this stuff, you know, in the in games you've played, you know, that you've always and you've always seen it. But uh, any kind of cloth physics are always just kind of awesome. All right, Nobu, let's um, head over to um, Sensei Ishikawa. <laughs> Uh, I'm finding this. I know we're in the middle of like a, an invasion, but you know it's it's just so lovely, isn't it? Relaxing. How far away is 300 meters? Okay, so it's not too far away. It's down on the beach, it looks like, and so we don't need to rush down there. We'll be able to dye our armor, get a nice little custom set going. Let's have a little look from the cliff side here. Wow, guys. Oh, man, look at this. Look, look at it. <laughs> oh, just glorious. The movement isn't as fluid as it could be, but it's, uh, you know, it still works fine. Should we, let's just hang out here for a bit. <laughs> okay, I think we're going down there, right? You're a so, good horse, Nobu. Yeah, you are a good horse, Nobu. Let's head down here. We might have to leave Nobu at some point because this is probably Mongol territory. I I'm not sure. I'm not sure if some areas of the island have not been invaded yet. But... Doesn't feel like this place is, but I could be wrong. Now, if we're, if we're asking about him, I don't think that this is necessarily means that... Okay, we're going the wrong way. Let's just keep following this, as long as it's not too dangerous for Nobu. Oh, we can pinch stuff while we're on the horse as well. Good to know. Yeah, let's take the scenic route. Scenic route, even. Man, waterfalls in games are the best. Oh, let's, let's check up here. Is this a shrine of some sort? Wow, look at the stream. Amazing. Oh, we can jump down. No, let's, let's go around with the horse. Okay, so not everywhere has been taken by the Mongols just yet, right? Or maybe they ransacked the place and some people were left alive. Oh, we've got some Buddhist statues. There was a Buddhist influence in Japan at one point, right? Before, um, you know, it's not always been Shin Shintoism, right? It's been uh, some Buddhist influence as well. I always had springs. Perhaps someone at the inn can direct me to Sensei Ishikawa. Got another merchant here. Man, I am. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, guys. See what I can make for you, my lord. Okay, it's another trapper, so we don't Thank need to, you. to bother him just yet. 
Give me those flowers. Hello there, friend. Do you know where the My sensei Lord, is? I hear samurai are skilled in the art of haiku. I wouldn't call myself skilled, but yes, I write them. There's a poet in Hyoshi Springs. Said he once wrote with your uncle. I'm sure he has much to share. I'll be sure to check on him. Okay, so that's another little point of interest, perhaps. Elby, where'd you go? The travel attire will pulse up when artifacts are nearby. Something nearby. Greetings, my lord. Wish we could bow back to them. I don't know whether you're not supposed to if you're like a nobleman or something. Oh, what have we got here? Weapon dealer? May I look after your bow, my lord? Oh, I don't have one. You don't have a bow? No. I lost mine at Komodo Beach. I'd give you one if I had it. Though, if Sensei Ishikawa is alive, I hear he has a fine collection of weapons. Bring one to me, and I'll make sure it's in the best possible condition. I shall. Thank you. Shoot well, my lord. Yeah, I always liked learning about Shintoism. Uh, yeah, I always get really frustrated learning about the monolithic religions that are more prominent in the West, whereas Shintoism is much more tied to Buddhism as well. You know, much more tied to nature. And, uh... Oh, there's something else pulsing on the controller. Yeah, just about res respecting the world around you. Just there's always it's always just seemed so much healthier to me. Oh. Oh, there's still something pulsing. I oh, is that it? Did it mean a shrine or something? We need to go in this uh, building. Oh, there we go. More records. Music stories to remember. I not learned the good writing. <laughs> but some must writing down songs of the Biwi Hoshi. Very good stories, but he killed by invaders. Then no more stories. Forget it by all. Long ago, there was a bow using man. He saved the town. Also, another bow using man who killed the demons. And the man who is fa very fast with katana swings. So many others. Write more tomorrow. Now go deliver supplies to Jade Hill's camp. <laughs> that was cute. Right, we can finally go, Nobu. Let's go find the sensei. More merchants. Okay, let's go ask over here. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Got a bit of clipping on the cape. No place to go. A samurai. Arrive? Certainly. I'm am. looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. Can Please do. Protected my town, Lord Sakai. I don't know what we'll do without them. Keep up hope, Did friend. Did the sensei not fight at Komoda? No. He came to town for surprise the day before the invasion. Hardly spoke a word, but he's always been a private man. Let's go, friend. My lord, are the stories of Sensei Ishikawa true? What stories? They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> Not the ship, 
But he shot a pirate captain from the shore. Oh. Routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back for that artifact later. We need to get through the forest. I wonder why he didn't fight if uh, that's what he would have was expected of him. The Sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Okay, we can climb up from the looks of things. Okay guys, slightly embarrassing confession there. I thought the game had glitched out, so I had to reload, but I didn't realize it was just Thank you. asking us to do you. that. <laughs> One more question, my lord. May I ask why the Sensei left his post as archery master to Clan Nagao? No one knows. Strange, giving up service to a great lord for this. Okay, rather embarrassing that, but I've probably edited that out at this point. Who have we got here? Lord Sakai, I studied poetry with your uncle. Oh, let's do some haikus then. The Mongols have taken Lord Shimura captive. Mm. He will endure. He is strong and resilient, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? There's no time during war. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one, untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. Okay, rumor location. So the birds will lead us to the haiku locations. Lovely. Is that a hornet's nest? So this is awesome. That nature's going to lead us to everything, right? That's uh, that's amazing. So embarrassing, guys, that I thought that section was glitched. <laughs> All right, let's climb up. Talk to Ishikawa, I believe is how they were saying it. Yeah, they've definitely taken influence from all, a lot of the other games. This climbing feels feels a lot like Horizon Zero Dawn, doesn't it? You know, kind of just fairly automated, but still looks pretty fun. Sensei Ishikawa. Yeah, they were saying it without pronouncing, overly pronouncing the I. Sensei Ishikawa's dojo. I think he's going to be gone. Have to do some tracking. There was a struggle here. Oh. Better look around. Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. This is not a good sign. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Snap the arrow, probably pierced. Any other clues? Some tracks. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker? Maybe the sensei is in his house. Let's follow the tracks. Some more supplies. So supplies are our currency. A humble home for a samurai. Don't move. Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. 
You survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Are you expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Try and keep up, Sakai. The Tale of Sensei Ishikawa. Who else made it out of Komuda? No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. Fair enough. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. <laughs> Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. A peasant. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even <laughs> you, Sakai. <laughs> So uh, there was a in Sekiro. It was it the Lightning of Tomoe. Yeah. The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead, you took this <laughs> Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe. Mongols, take them. Oh my god, that instant kill thing. You. Fight like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. Oh, I didn't mean the loot. I meant to put my sword away. Okay, so they're going to drop resources as well. You have something better to do? Yes, pillage. <laughs> this guy's impatient. True sensei. And this sunset, oh my. The moist trail picks up here. Come! I wasn't expecting combat for whatever reason, guys. The Mongols took Fort Nakayama. That patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. Rice and millet. Oh. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. They were making camp, about to have a meal, some blood. Blood, but not much. No one died. Man, uh, Sensei's voice is uh, silky. A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. I fear the worst. The boy would never leave the quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student. Where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. Oh. Yeah, I can... should have fought at Komura with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit.
They knew their enemy, we didn't, right? They understood that we'd prioritize a frontal attack and honor and all that stuff. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. <laughs> and there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. Try it out before we go into battle. Alright, a half bow. Moderate damage and draw speed. Once a gift from Lord Nagao, the Sensei Ishikawa. Now wielded by the Sensei's new student. Aim for that lamp closest to us. Sure thing. Good. Now the one further down the road. On the left. Not bad. Let's see if you can hit the one furthest away. The further the target, oh. the more your arrow drops. How does it feel? Like it was made for me. It wasn't. So take good care of it. <laughs> Let's go. I love this guy. Impatient mentors. A bow like this would have helped at Komodo. It is a good bow, but victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. They have not yet won. Yes, okay, so we've got a new wrinkle now with the bow. I love it. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. Okay, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this episode here just because the episode's getting a bit long. So we'll open up with a nice fight um, in the next episode. Uh, I think I've, de I've decided that this series is going to go up probably uh, twice a day. If um, You know, it's just going to be a bit easier to record this and the game's quite long. So, yeah, I'll be sticking this up twice a day. Um, and yeah, we've uh, picked up a few more bits and bobs. We did a mission with Yuna. We found the fox den, which was lovely. We did a bit of exploring, found a village, got some new armor. We finally found the sensei. Now we're trying to recover Tomoe, which we will do from Fort Nakayama next time. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you next time.